and chit chat. Mm -hmm. We are now about to pull off the driveway and head on holiday. This vlog is something a little bit different. Um, Vicky doesn't even know this yet because I haven't even told her. But in this vlog, we're gonna have a look at the tow car. Woo! Remember oh. that video you were so excited about? That's exciting, isn't it, darling? So yeah, so in this video, we are gonna have a look at my Ford Ranger two litre bi-turbo wild track. Um, we're gonna see how it performs on the journey today to the Cotswolds, uh, MPG, and a little look round um, the car and what we think of it and uh, what we do and don't like about it. Is there anything you don't like about it? No. There you go. <laughs> Vlog complete. So here we go, we're now about to leave Ipswich and I'm now about to reset the trip computer. So on average over the, the last 748 miles, mix of all sorts of driving, it's done 31.6. So hold to reset. There we go. Right, let's see how we get on. As you will see, average MPG, um, 22.4. We did go to the uh, shop after, which counted in that as well. So, um, went after we got here, but yeah, so um, it has, it did do better on the last trip. Uh, was it raining on the way here? I don't know. I don't know why it's worse today. No this time who knows but still worth it for such a beast you recorded yeah so one thing i do love about this car especially for towing is the massive tow bar because it is well massive <laughs> and it is really solid and also like because the actual tow ball is on this bit that sticks out what I find is like unlike my BMW where the back bumper of the car was here compared to the tow ball so when I took the caravan off the car I was always at risk of like damaging the the back bumper which I did sort of scrape a couple of times but on this it's so chunky and solid that there's just no risk of hitting the back of the uh, of the bumper with the tow hitch of the caravan and also the the electric socket is nicely separated from the rest of the tow bar whereas normally they're not like right underneath or something like that so that's one thing i really do love about this car i did have to fit the lowering plate on it though um what are you laughing at what are you laughing at <laughs> Don't, don't snort when you laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? He just spat. I just spat. <laughs> I had three beers. Sorry, that's just so funny. Can't have it out. Sorry. We'll cut out the spit. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's one thing I really do love. I had to fit a lower and plate on it, um, but the toe, there's such a chunky toe ball on it and tow bar that yeah there's never no risk of damage in it the other thing i really like is under the ford badge here is a really cool um reversing camera that you can actually zoom in which hopefully will show you there it is yeah hopefully we'll show you what it looks like on the screen and you can zoom right in on the tow ball so when you're reversing up to the caravan you can almost get it like a hundred percent where you want it to be which is really cool so one of the main reasons why we got this um, over a normal car um, is one of the best features, but also one of the worst. And that's the voluminous back bit, <laughs> the pickup bit, um, which is fantastic. And we got the added on, um, I don't know what it's called now, uh, tonneau cover, I think that's called. Yeah, we got that added on as well which is really handy. Do the 
just roll that back and you you can chuck everything in there we've put the awning with that we put our chairs in there and to be honest the like the canopy the cadac and the chairs pretty much live in here all the time because it's just you know for this big old thing having them in the back ain't going to make no difference to fuel or anything like that when you're driving around normally so there is one problem though with having the chairs in the back what's that it's not waterproof oh yeah so one thing to bear in mind if you ever look for a pickup with a cover like this is they're not 100 percent waterproof obviously if you haven't got the cover on the back it's definitely not waterproof is it no but, but we found wet chairs one day didn't yeah, we yeah but and they and they do tell you that when you order it it's only about 80 90 percent waterproof so you know you have to bear that in mind the the negative of it which is like as i say one of the best features and also one of the worst is the fact that um when stuff when you put stuff in here like at the moment the towing cover and the canic bits and pieces are, are in there and the dog buggy and the dog buggy one of the problems is it's so far down there that it's very difficult to get hold of and even like the ford ranger especially is a tall vehicle at the back so um for me five foot ten trying to get in here is a is a quite a hard reach to be honest i mean that i can get but the towing cover i probably couldn't so so yeah so but if you check out cars and caravans um on their youtube channel they have done a video on something they have in their pickup uh which is like a rolling slide out bed so it makes life a hell of a lot easier but yeah there you go and then when you want to oh by the way there is um tie points in here which is really handy i think there's a lot there's like a plug somewhere oh yeah down there there's, i think there's a three point plug actually there's actually a three point plug in here so um which is pretty cool but when you want to pull this, um, shut this up again, here we do, hold the rope, pull it, job done. So I love it. I love the fact that we can just chuck stuff in the back. And when we've moved between two sites, we've even chucked like an aqua roll half full of water in there and all sorts. Just chuck it all in there, wet awning, whatever, just chuck it in there, it doesn't matter. So I really love that. So, I love this car as well, but the one thing I have a problem with being five foot five is getting in and out of it. So um, I've had to kind of get used to this and worked out a tactic of how to get in. <laughs> it is quite tall and you do get the side steps so you see, on you the see car. Me here, seat there, it's not going to be easy to slide in now. So Demonstrate to the world how you do it, babe. I do. <laughs> so there's a there's definitely a set way you have to get in this in there yeah. if you try and um get in we're using the wrong foot yeah so you end up looking like a right div you don't can't you? go this way yeah because yeah, otherwise you get all all tied up well, with you your legs should, yeah but, but you just look a bit you end up old like bashing your head and all yeah sorts. yeah and it's yeah. it's easy as well when you first get it to not be used to it and just try and jump right out but forgetting the step part yeah. and realise it's um, actually it quite high off the leg. ground. Yeah. So you have to kind of sliver out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so looking inside, as you can see, very, very nice indeed. It's got, although it's a, it's a oh, look, there's little Max. <laughs> although it's got all of the, um, you know, it is a pickup for sort of, you know, rugged use. It's got all the luxuries, like half leather seats, electric seats, heated seats, air con, cruise control, all the gadgets. It's got a 10 speed automatic gearbox, which um, I find absolutely fantastic. Really, really good for towing. Just never, you never run out of gears. It's just, you know, always knows what gear it wants to be in. Drives lovely. As soon as you hit a hill when you're towing, it just, you barely even notice the gear changes. Really, really good. So I'm, na I'm now going to show you the central um, uh, display. You can just shut your door because it's going to ping, I think. Or if you, yeah, there you go. So I'm just going to show you the central display. So this car comes with um, the Ford Sync 3 system, which obviously you get this um, really cool 
um, touch screen display and on this you can control obviously your stereo you can press home and you've got half sat nav half stereo um, which is really handy you can control even though it's got all the buttons for the climate control down there you can control all the climate control from them from the uh, from the screen um, your phone um, and obviously it's got really good satellite navigation uh, not that I I don't really use sat nav that much to be honest but um, you know it has it is really good it comes up with all the traffic and um, you know it sort of gives live feedback back of how fast you're going so it's um, it's really cool um, what else is there on this Oh yeah, you can get all like mobile apps and all that sort of thing. And also you can get that the Ford uh, Ford Pass app, which is really cool. So you can, um, it's got features that you can basically start it from the app on your phone. Um, and you can set the, the vehicle to have certain functions on it when you start it on the app. So, um, so say if it's a cold morning and you want to um, defrost the car as you're getting ready for work, you can set it um, by the buttons on the steering wheel you can set it to have um so basically if you start it on the app then say the heated seats and the heated windscreen comes on uh, and the heating comes on on a certain temperature so i done it sort of not long after i i got it where i was upstairs in the bedroom getting changed um and i would just go on the app fire the car up the doors stay locked even though it started up um, and by the time you come downstairs and get in the car, it's all defrosted, the seat's warm, the heating's on, and it's um, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, so just gonna quickly show you the um, reverse camera, which is really handy for um, towing. So if you just uh, stick it in reverse, my able assistant. No, that's drive. No, that's sport mode. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, so there you go. So that's the reverse camera. And you can see that's normal mode. You can see, clearly see the toe, the toe ball there. And then when I just press that little plus button, it zooms right in on the toe ball. So you can, you can get it bang on um, on the toe ball. Lastly, this car apparently has something on it that well, I've never really got my head around it, but it has something on it that it's like a you know like caravans have the atc system well the car has something similar to it as well so it's got a system on it to control the sway of a of a caravan or trailer um i wouldn't know if it's on there or or, or not or, or how many times it's it's come into play because obviously the caravan's got atc on it so uh, and we don't drive around like lunatics lunatics to be fair so um yeah, so I've never known, I, I don't know if that sort of works or, or how well it works. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we absolutely love it. And um, for anyone who's thinking about getting a, um, a, a pickup for um, their tow car, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's very comfortable. Hey? It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. <laughs> it is very comfortable. Um, the new, the new... The new pickups are very, very comfortable indeed, and they're they're it's very bumpy, yeah, it. they're absolutely car-like when you're driving them. Um, smooth. In fact, I would go as far as say it's smoother than our BMW. Oh God, hundred percent smoother yeah. than that. Because the BMW had um, sports suspension, so when you were towing, oh, Vicky's just you, we we should have caught that on camera actually, because Vicky just got out of the car and demonstrated exactly what we were just talking about <laughs> about about you need to be careful about how you get out of these brilliant what are you saying about that then babe <laughs> so in the corner of my eye i just literally saw her disappear out of the ranger onto the onto the floor brilliant so how to how to not get out of a ford ranger hey. get out this way right i'm going to demonstrate how you get in a ford ranger but I'm going to do the opposite when I get out of it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so as we were saying, really, really impressed. Um, it's got all the features on it, electric mirrors, um, dimmable. It's even got things like what I really like, which has got like auto automatic 
main beam headlight, so as you're driving along, um, if the if it goes dark, like you're in a country lane, there's nothing coming, the main beam headlights come on automatically, and then if it senses headlights coming in your direction, it switches them off. So it's um, quite clever, isn't it? Very. <laughs> Unlike me. So yeah, not exactly a, you know, we're never gonna um, break any molds by doing a review like this, are we? Um, but just what to give you our opinion of the Ford Ranger Wild Track as a tow car. Um, and yeah, uh, we love it. So if, if you have any questions, let us know. If you have any questions and if you're thinking about getting one, because uh, I do actually have a, a, a friend who um, has recently started caravan, a guy I know through work who watches our vlogs, Mick French. So Mick, if, you, uh, if you're watching this, hello. And um, I showed him, showed? That's not shoe. 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 That's terrible. English. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's that's just Suffolk lazy accent shoe. coming out there. Shoot him. Um, I show him up this. Uh, shoot him. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what the right word would be. No. Is it showed? I showed him. Oh god. We're just going to get loads of comments now saying how oh, thick well, we are. Never mind. Um, yeah. So basically, he had a look at this Ranger and um, and loved it. He and, demonstrated it uh, to him. Demonstrated. I demonstrated it to him and um yeah and he ordered one um exactly the same um for, for him as his tow car so um yeah highly recommend so if you've got any questions drop them below and we'll um we'll endeavor to answer them um i think that's about it isn't it yeah i think so anything else to add no i don't think God, so i up. do love driving it let's see up my boob it's got a lot of poke a lot of pook <laughs> it's, it's got a lot when of poke you put down it when you put when you put your foot down, it goes. Yeah, it's the it's the bi turbo. Well, I couldn't just call it a twin turbo, mm. you know. But yeah, it's bi turbo. It's very so. fun to drive. Yeah, it not is. wallowy as you would expect. It's very good to drive. As some four by fours can be. And you do find that because it's a big old beast, like people do just get out of your way, don't they? They do. And you do also feel like you could just like drive. You don't even really have to follow roads. You could just drive sort yeah. of up a mountain, it, over a field. Yeah, if I wanted to get from one side of the country to the other, I could just go in a straight line no matter what's in the way. <laughs> so, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to wrap this vlog up. So, um, any comments, any questions, put them down below. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Something a little bit different. <laughs> a few people have asked for it. So, um, excuse us for doing something a little bit different. Um, hope you've boring. enjoyed it. A little bit boring. Yeah, good. Bye. Bye.